Hello, everybody, and welcome to this Let's Play of The Celestials, uh, Volume 1, The Hidden Void. This is by Dimension Games uh, and is a prototype for their upcoming Kickstarter. So, big caveat, some things may change. Some rules may change, some abilities may change. However, this should give you a good overview of how the game plays. There you are. That's my caveat out of the way. All warnings done. Um, Shay and myself are going to be playing a cooperative uh, scenario. Mm -hmm. There are three different ways to play. I go into the various ways uh, you can play and some of the other bits and pieces you get with the Hidden Void in my unboxing. So if you want to know more, have a look at that. I won't be doubling down on it. Things that we're not doing in this game, I'm not going to be talking about because uh, I've talked about them in that uh, unboxing. You can have a look at that. Uh, however, what we are going to be doing is attempting to deal with these three um, storm riders. And to do that, you have a Wikian. 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 And I've got two Savachi, aka Cacophonies. Uh, so I may be talking about cacophonies more because it's easier to pronounce. And Wick Yin is, is uh, Billy Connolly feeling Wick. <laughs> the big Yin and he's Wick. Apparently he is, a, he is a glimmer of the candling dragon. Oh, well, that makes it's sense. His other title. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a good title to have. I like it. I thought it's probably just to start calling him that. So Wick Yin, it's easier to say. <laughs> um, we have formed a little team. And we have a little team card. Indeed we do. So um, this is the Flame of Insight which for the low, low price of a sphere point penalty of two, uh, we have the ability to... Each time an ally unit performs a fire action, the player who controls that unit may draw into main card. That'll be handy for anybody using fire actions a lot. I'm very much elemental, physical, shouty cacophony noises, hence cacophony. That's the international gesture for cacophony. Cacophony. Of that cacophony. Idea, yeah. uh, you, on the other hand, being a candle-headed monster. Yes. Fire. Uh, fire. All about the fire. So, Burn. So that'll be handy. Um, the Storm Riders are based on an AI system. Um, so in this game, they'll be activating in a certain order. So they activate one, two, three. Uh, and then what they do is determined by a little AI flow chart. Uh, which we'll go through when we hit that phase. Um, so I have my figure set up, and for this game, I have all my tier one abilities unlocked. All the Storm Riders have their tier one unlocked, and likewise, Shea has tier one unlocked for his Wikian as Indeed. well. Um, we have two domain cards each because we're playing as a cooperative. The domain cards for the AI are drawn as they do effects, uh, so they won't have a hand. Uh, but to go through some of the other things briefly, here we have the Storm Riders um, Sphere Point Pool. They currently have 12. Uh, we know they will be bidding to every phase for the initiative, and the initiative actually starts with them unless we bid against. Mm -hmm. For ourselves, we have a mighty 16. However, we're suffering a two-point penalty for that card. Indeed we are, yeah. So if you want to dial us back down to 14. That I can do, if I can get it. There we, there go. we go. And then this is the Storm Riders deck, and this is our deck. Uh, the decks themselves are constructed by what you bring. So for every Savachi Cacophony, uh, I get one of each of their cards. And then the Wikian gets one of each of their cards, because there's only one. Uh, and then to that deck, there are added several wild cards, and then that's all shuffled. We both draw from that pool, uh, which means potentially um, Shay may get some cards that are for me, and I may get some cards for him. Yeah. Um, actually, if you throw your cards that you've already drawn in front of the close cam, we can show those. Can do. So as you can see, in this case, Shay has a starting hand with two cards. The wild card is just a stat stick. Uh, so at the bottom there, you can see a red number and a blue number. Uh, red is elemental and blue is spiritual, and they can be used as 
um, buffs for your defense or attack, depending on whether you're using them as a attack or defense. Yeah. Uh, the other thing you can do is discard cards from your hand to trigger the active ability on them. Uh, now, that only works if you happen to have a card for your particular creature. So in this case, you do. You have one for the Wiccan, and if you discard that, it allows you to... I can't read that from here. What's it allow you to do? Discard when an ally unit performs a fire action, choose an ally unit to restore two health points. Okay. A little healy thing if you do some fire. Smashing. Like it. Um, so obviously throughout the game, we're going to be drawing these cards. If we hit ones where I've got a Wiccan card or you've got a Cacophony card, they can only be used for the stat on them, not for the actual ability to discard. Yeah. Um, which, you know, sad times. But I imagine we're going to be churning through the little mini decks very, very quickly. Yeah. Um, do you want to throw one of the character cards in there yeah. as well? And we'll very briefly talk about those. I'll throw mine on. Why not? Okay. So with this card, um, you've got a dial at the top. You can see, starting from the left, EDE, which is Elemental Defense Enhancement. That's how many cards you can add to a defense um, from your hand. So I'm capped at one for mine. Uh, Shay has one for his. However, for the SDE, the Spiritual Defense Enhancement, he could play up to two cards, uh, which is nice. Then we have the Health Points, fairly standard. How many times you can be hit repeatedly before you go down. Yeah. Uh, AP is action points. So how many actions you get in a round. And then SPD is speed. And for each action point spent, that's how far somebody can move on the table. Uh, below that, not really relevant to here, but uh, the big number in the middle is the sphere point. So that's both the cost if you're building these um, units up from a, a generic list, essentially. Uh, and then on either side are faction symbols. So if you want to go cross faction, it will tell you how much it will cost you um, for your sphere points in the game to either bring them or if there's a little cross symbol there, then they can't be combined. And then at the bottom is keywords for various abilities. Uh, so that is us more or less set up. Uh, we shall be back for turn one. Okay, we're back for turn one. Uh, first things first, the AI will automatically bid two sphere points for initiative. However, we have bid three. And because you know that they're always going to be bidding two every turn, uh, if we want to try and take the initiative, then we have to bid at least three. Uh, if it's equal, then the person holds the initiative, they, they maintain it. Uh, so we just need to do two now to kind of hang on to it if we want to. And into the wells of oblivion we go. The sickle moon dangles perilously above Pangu's ghostly sands, warning of coming doom to any who would heed its portent. But for whom does destruction toll, Wiccan wonders? Darkness drenches the rolling dunes and craggy rock formations beyond the endless lands, only broken by the moon's faint glow and the flickering flames atop Wiccan's eyeless head. The night emits a mere murmur, allowing an eerie silence to engulf the landscape. Even the two savage cheese, Wiccan's sole companions, prowl noiselessly beside him like wild beasts, each one's single inborn eye glinting dangerously, ferally, in the moonlight. The clusters of milky vestigial eyes atop their heads, a gift from Gagong himself, also glisten in the faint glow, while the copper rings dangling from leather thongs draped around their horns gleam dully. How long have they walked now? How long since Gagong sent them on this quest? It is of no consequence. They will not return empty-handed, and in any case, perhaps their quarry is now nearly within reach. We approach something. One of the Savachis growls in a resonant, rumbling voice. I can feel its power. Wikian nods, his bared teeth leering. He feels it too. The flames of something long since extinguished are stoking back into life. Wikian's tail lashes around his leg as the augments on his back hum and whir quietly. 
forward, my warriors, he says, and remain vigilant. If this is indeed the answer Gregong seeks, it will likely not go unguarded. The Savachis chuckles, sound more like snarls. Finally, the second one says, we shall feast. Hold fast until I have offered the hand of allegiance, Wikian says. Gagong sent us as scouts and delegates for his purposes, not an attack force. Silence settles between the three entities as they plunge deeper into the uncharted wastelands. Slowly the sickle moon sinks into the horizon's tender belly as dawn's first glimmers seep across the landscape. And all the while the feeling of primordial might thumps in their minds, the pulsing growing steadily into thunderous reverberations. They are so near now, they can practically touch it. Wikian leads the three around a towering outcrop of sandblasted stone. As he does so, he notices the air shimmering before them, an anomaly that should have been invisible to those with mundane sight. Something is not that it should be. This is a trick. Hold fast. An illusion confronts us. Pulling one of the candles from his head, Wikian focuses on the flame, drawing upon primordial forces deep within himself to pierce the concealing veil, and gasps, what is this? The three edifices looming before the travellers like arid, empty skulls of planet-rending behemoths, Wikian sees the energies defining their shapes, and they take his breath away. Icy nihilistic darkness clings to their alternately mechanical and organic surface. Oblivion's echoes emanate deep within them. Furthermore, their construction and power seem strangely alien, as if they straddle the line between this world and another. Are they hollow? Could these be silos of some kind, or wells? These must be indescribably ancient, Wikian says. Do you Savachi sense the dawns in them? Possibly, one savage says, although it has been so long since any of our kind walked in the dawn's shadows. Thunder cleaves the sunrise in two, lightning banishing the lingering shadows as clouds swarm the skies. The savage squint, their muscles tensing to strike. They have good reason to be wary. Three celestials emerge from the parting cumulus, their arms mighty wings. You trespass upon a sacred land and peer into the mysterious forbidden to you. We are Lee, watchmen of the void. We will offer you one warning. Leave now or your destruction will fall like lightning to devour you whole. We need not make war upon one another, honoured Lee, Wikian shouts. We are emissaries of Gugong and the will of the Nine Dawns. The ancient ways have revealed themselves to him, and he seeks to restore all celestials to lost glories of our primordial past, including yourselves. Reveal these structures to us, and Gagong will reward you mightily. The Lee's laughter rolls like peals of thunder. Why would we bow to your tiny tyrant when we drink from the endless churning void? When we know the answers buried long before your father's fathers could conceive the questions. We serve no upstart celestial. We bend the knee only to Kung Lung and her queen. We shall never allow your kind to peer into the oblivion wells. Leave now, you droning, crawling insects, or you will writhe and burn in the fires of heaven. Wickling inclines his head. Then I fear we are at an impasse. Savage cheese? Feast. So... Three Oblivion Wells, then. Yeah. Defended by the Lee Storm Riders. We have, on each of these, um, Lees are guarding an Oblivion Well. They will activate randomly, gaining new powers throughout the game. Uh, all we need to do is kill the three Guardians. Yep. Super simple. Good. Barely an inconvenience, Probably not. as the man says. Kicks and backs, are you? Mm. So, every turn begins with the event phase. That's where we bid, which we have done, and stolen the initiative away. Huzzah! Ah, um, win. There's nothing else clever for the first round for the event phase, so that's good. All good news for us. So, 
the question is, who are we going to activate first? It's a good one. Do you want me to activate one of mine, or do you want to activate the mighty Wiccan? Well, the Wiccan is very, he's very buffy. Yes. He's not, I think you're the damage dealer, mm -hmm. and I'm the buffy. And you're the support, player. yes. That's the one. That makes sense. So maybe if I go first, buff both of your guys while they're in range. Then oh, have, and then let me tear on. Yeah, okay. I think yeah, that might yeah. be the best shot, to be honest. I, I like, the, like the thought of that. Yeah. Uh, so in your turn, you can spend action points, but you can also spend sphere points for tactical things. Indeed, yeah. So in turn one, the only thing you can really do is spend them to draw an extra domain card yes. from the domain deck. Um, from round two onwards, we can spend sphere points to unlock secondary tier abilities. Mm -hmm. So tier two, tier three, and so on. You can only unlock um, up to the round you're in. So in turn two, we can unlock our tier two ability. Well, you can unlock one tier two ability. Um, Turn three, you can unlock either a tier two or a tier three and so on. So what's the plan, Stan? Right. Well, I think uh, I think it's going to be a uh, candle of fate. Yes. Straight, straight off the bat. I like the sound of it. It's good. Uh, so two AP, mm -hmm. two action points, puts me down to four. Start on six. It's not too bad. Sure. Uh, I will give it to this one right here. Okay. And so candle of fate does? Candle of fate. It's a, technically a debuff. Mm-hmm. But uh, all it lets me do is, uh, any time during my turn, uh, I may choose a unit with the Candle of Fate debuff within seven spaces, mm -hmm. and I can spend X AP to force the chosen unit to move X spaces. Okay. So, I'm going to pop, that's a duration three. Duration three, yep. Pop three tokens on my number two, uh, so I know he's got it. And next up. Next up, um, doesn't say that there is a limit on how many candle of fate I can do. If the card says capacity, then that is your limit. If there is not, then your only limit is your action points. Sweet. It's action points then, because there is no capacity. Excellent. Uh, I think I'll give candle of fate to your other guy. Okay. Same again. Yeah. It's candle of fate. Ba -da -da -da. Yes, it lets me move people X spaces when I want to, but later on... Whenever my friends have Candle of Fate, I can give them nice little buffs, okay. cards and stuff. Oh, I like the sound of that. Which will be nice. So if we do it, we get it done early, that means whenever you go to attack... Gives us just... gives us three turns to play with it. Exactly, yep, yep. yeah. You can slam right in there. Right. I've got two more action points left. I'm nowhere near in range to attack okay. anything. Were either of those fire? And would they grant you extra domain cards? Uh, Candle of Fate is a unique action and they're both fire. Okay, so you would so get to draw two domain cards to your hand for two that. Two domain cards. So there is a uh, cap of nine cards uh, for your hand. Yeah, indeed. We'll not worry um, about that at the moment. I think I'm actually maybe going to try. Because there's no point in me moving anywhere at the moment because I can't attack anything in range. Yeah. I'm slow as hell. You are slow. And the Oblivion Wells that we have, we can potentially destroy the Oblivion Wells, but they can only be destroyed when they're activated. And mm -hmm. currently all of them are inactive. Yeah. So... So I think I'm actually going to go for Luminous Prophecy, mm -hmm. which lets me look at the top X cards from your domain deck and add one of them to your hand. X equals the number of units of Candle of Fate. Uh, which is currently two. Which is currently two. So I'm going to have a look at the top two and choose one to put in my hand. Mm -hmm. And they're both savagey. <laughs> well, do they have any... One of them does. Yeah. So we'll, we'll take that one. The other one just pop on the bottom. Yep. There we go. So you're already up to five cards in your hand. I know. Mighty right off. off the bat. You don't need to spend any uh, sphere points to get No, I don't no. think so, no. I will be. You will be, yes. I will be. <laughs> but that is me out of AP. Okay. Uh, so we will go to the first of the Lee Storm Riders. And they perform actions in this flow chart. You may be able to see that. Ish bash bosh. Super simple, barely an inconvenience. One is right back at the end of the board here. And the first thing they will do is they have four AP. And if overarch the sky or over arc the sky is not activated, they will activate it. So it is not currently. And to do that, it will cost one of their action points. But that's fine. They've got four. Um, now, 
It's a state that gives them flying, which is a plus one to their speed. Um, and they can ignore other entities whenever they're moving. Oh, okay. So they can fly over the top of people. There's no terrain to worry about on this particular board setup. However, it also increases the range of their lightning attacks by one. Oh, so okay. that's kind of annoying. That's not so nice. No, no, not great. Uh, next up, they will use hurled lightning if in range. And if nobody is in range, then they will move uh, to do so. Now, range for hurled lightning is four, goes up to five. In this, when you count, you count um, orthogonally only. So diagonals don't count. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine would be the closest. So five away, not great. Yep. Uh, their speed is currently three, so he will burn an action point to move three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Still not close enough. We'll have to burn another activation point. Good. And that will get just close enough to get into range then. So one, two, three, four, five away. Single action point remaining. It will use hurled lightning. Two, you by any chance hurl lightning at you? It will indeed hurl oh, lightning at me. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> it's not just a clever name. So uh, when you're using one of these cards, you start at the top and work your way down. Uh, so in this case, we can see hurled lightning is an attack action. A range of four normally goes up to five because they're supercharged. So target an enemy entity within range for the cost of one AP. And there you can see it does damage of one and lightning brackets AE2. So the A is uh, the enhancement you can use mm -hmm. um, to buff your attack and limit uh, once per Storm Rider per turn. Indeed, indeed. So... The long and the short of that is we're going to go for struggle now. And struggle is how you work out um, combats or attacks, if you will. Uh, so the least Storm Rider can use um, up to two of their domain cards to buff that attack. So they will always do that. And they draw blind from the top of their deck. Uh, I normally have two cards, but because I'm buffed with Candley, I can get a free Indeed, draw yep. from the, yourself. The Blessed Flame, which is a passive ability. Mm -hmm. When an ally with, when an ally unit with Candle of Fate needs to play a domain card during a struggle while it is defending, yes. you may reveal and play the top card from your domain deck into the unit's domain pool as if playing it from your hand. Okay. Limit once per struggle. I can only do it twice a turn. Full stop. The and, then it, and then it's exhausted anyway. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to start with the Storm Rider. Uh, so in this case, we just look at the red number, and the red number for this is a one. Then I would very much like to get a free, free flip. One. Yeah. Oh, 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 big two. It's a big two right off the bat. Beautiful. It will expend a second. So three, and I could, in this case, drop that for another two. Mm -hmm. And then you just compare the pools uh, to see who comes out on top. So in this case, I massively, massively do, yeah. uh, which is great news for me. It means I don't get zapped to death by lightning. Good. That's which, good. Which is always handy. <laughs> uh, so they just go to our discard piles. And then its activation's all done. Uh, number one's done and dusted onto myself. Yeah. So who wants it? They all want it. And I think somebody's about to get it. So I move two for the cost of one. Go my attack puppies. Or for me. I can use a wild leap to move six. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a big jump. Not quite enough. One, two, three, four, five, six. And again. Not enough, enough there. 
I mean, it's still much better than my move of two because yeah. it would take me all my activations to reach one of them. So I think he's quite jumpy and prowly. Um, I'm actually going to go here because for the low, low cost of two on my normal move, I can actually get into combat anyway. So I'll go one, two for one act, one, two for a second activation. Yeah. Um, and that costs me two of those. I will buy a card for a sphere point. Go for it. Knock us down a sphere. I will indeed. And then it's attacking time. Attacky. Yes. Very much so. Go attack dog. Attack him. Do your job. That's what you're paid for. Are you paid? Do I pay you? Um, I get paid in kind. Ah, oh, there we go. As, as many Storm Rider chicken wings as I can eat. As many Yankee candles as you want. That type of thing. <laughs> right. I am going to go with a Turbulent Blue. So Turbulent Blue costs two, my remaining two action points. Target an enemy entity. It will do three physical damage, and I have an AE of three, so I could deal up to three additional cards, yeah. although I've only got two in my hand, so I won't be doing that. And if the target takes at least three wounds, then the active unit gains a cacophony token. Uh, cacophony tokens for my savage cheese allow me to stack um, up to four, and then once I've got four, I can do like a big pulse AOE. Oh, uh, nice. So it's a bit like... Uh, Charging up a, a ultimate in a computer game. Yes, there's one for the kids. Computer games and that. Computer see, games and stuff. See, I'm down with the kids. Um, so in this case, I will go for my attack. You don't have anything that allows me to draw from that this no, time. It's only defense. Defending, unfortunately, later on though. Well, later on you'll have attacking ones as well. So I will go with Gugong's. Disciple. Uh, so I'm not playing this for the points in the bottom. I'm going to discard it for the ability in the middle. Indeed. And in this case, I gain a plus X, where X is the number of Savage units currently on the game board. So I'm getting a plus two in my Ooh. struggle. So that's good. That's quite beefy. Yep. It will defend with one. So I'm already up on it. I'll throw one in there so that gives me a plus three lovely and then our survey says another one so it's going to be six against two Ooh. it's a mighty four kicking good on number one he deserves it he really does <laughs> uh knocking him down to 19 health from the ridiculous 23 they start on but That's more importantly more importantly don't chuck lightning at me because I'll hit you back. Uh, I will get <laughs> my first cacophony token on that Savage Chi. Uh, I'm out of activations. So it will be back to them and to their number two. Indeed. So number two is right over by you, Shay. Yep. Can he uh, always doesn't have overarching the sky? No, he does so not. So he'll have to spend one to activate that for the flying ability. So if you do that first. So one AP for that then, yeah. Yes. Grand stuff. There he is. And now it's buffed with its flying and it's lightning a five. Yes, unfortunately. Um, we know neither of them are in range though. No. Who is the closest, do we think? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mm -hmm. And one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, well, that answers that. So, would you? Yep. May now have a move of. Three. Has a move of three. Move of three. He's going to go one, two, three. First action. Yep. And it's range five. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. He's just out again. So, another AP to move one more. Yep. He's only got one AP left, Jerry. Good. But he's probably still going to hurl something at you, is he not? Don't care. <laughs> you do care. I might you care a little bit. <laughs> um, it will hurl lightning at me. Oh. So for, for final for final AP, 
presumably final IP. Yep, final IP. It's going to chuck one lightning damage out there. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge lightning. That is exactly how that works. <laughs> um, unfortunately, I have no cards. You do have Candle of Fate, though. But I do have Candle of Fate, so I'd like to flick the top one. Thank you. Uh, it's terrible. Oh, that's not great. <laughs> it's, it's, oh, no. It's, it's, yeah. Uh, no. Yeah, that would have been. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, it's terrible. Does Candle of Fate allow me to use it as if I'm playing it from my hand, or does it say specifically I'm using it as if from your domain deck into the unit's domain pool as if playing it from your hand? Ah, so no, but yes. I go straight into the pool, so I can't, I can't use the discard, discard yeah. for the plus two, which would have been ideal. So I'm going to take one in the face. I'm going to take two in the face. Oof. And the damage is three. You gotta take a kick in. So I'm gonna take three. Three damage. Yeah. Eh. Worse. Could I mean worse. I've I've got a health pull of twenty to begin with. Down to twenty five. I've very much seen worse. Um Storm Rivers doing nothing else this turn. That's number two done, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So back to us. Back to the us. Back to AKA the us. you. Left. Yep. Uh, I will use my wild leap. Yes. For two action points, like a prowling dagger, to go. Rawr. One, two, three, four, five. See, that may activate. Yeah. And then that would allow me to go and kick it. True, true. Um, it's a possibility. But then the other two could activate because it's random. Yeah. So I don't want to get too far away from others. So I'll just I'll throw myself to there. Have a little scrap. Yeah. I think uh, it's close enough. And I have a, a turbulent blue. Do I spend any sphere points? Yeah, to, to draw a card. Oh, I'll, yeah. I'll need to because I have currently no cards. Yep. So I'll, I'll spend one to draw one. Into my pool to give me something. Something's better than nothing. Um, but yeah, I'll use my other two for another turbulent blue because it does the most damage. More damage is better. Well, I need to try and get through this somehow. Kill them quickly. That's key, I feel. Uh, so I'm going to use impermanence as the cost. So one elemental red. Mm -hmm. Storm Rider defense goes one. I have to pass because I've got no more. Two. Uh, right. So two. it's two against four. So it's going to take two damage. That's not too bad. It's better than nothing. And uh, it has the, that's on you, it has the added benefit of um, starting to slow them down a bit. Yeah. Down to 21 health. Down to 21. We're getting there, slowly but surely. I mean, that's that's what we want in life. Um, no more for the Savage. No. But there is a final Storm Rider left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yes, nine, ten. You are going to be its target. Yes. It will spend one to over arc the skies. Now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. Or in this case, <laughs> lightning. Just similar to machine gun. Um, does one. We'll have to activate to move again. Yes. To get to there. Leaving it with one left for lightning. Fight me. Fight me. And it will do just that. Hurling lightning at your face. Like, like some like sort of winged Zeus. Strange bird person you are. With a plus one, so it's on plus two one. currently. Uh, that's nice. That's nice. Uh, what have you got in the way of defense? How many how many cards of defense can you do uh, anyway yes. for your for your um, E D E? Uh, one. So you can only play one card in defense. Oh, no, is what I can do. Mm. Um, let's just go for. So you need to go big. It's all about. Okay. And it will do another. So three points against one. So you'll take two points of damage. Oh no! Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> what's uh, what's your damage rating at? Uh, Thirty-three. Oh my god! You're ridiculously good. Yeah. 
That explains why you've got you and I've got two of me. Yeah. Oh, well, there you <laughs> My go. speed is at one. Uh, okay. Everybody's activated. Uh-huh. We're out of the activation phase. There's nobody left to go. So the next thing is the refresh phase. Um, so in the refresh phase, you get to draw two more domain cards. So we'll get to draw two each. Uh, we regenerate two sphere points. So they'll also regenerate two sphere points, but all they're spending them on is um, the uh, initiative. Sure, so yeah. it doesn't really make a difference to them. It makes more of a difference to us. Yeah. Um, and then we just clear up all the counters and we remove one from each of our duration tokens. So my candle is starting to burn dimmer, but those are the only duration tokens we have. Yeah. So we'll tidy up the rest, reset the dials, and be back for turn two in just one moment. Okay, we're back for turn two. Everything's set up, ready to go. Um, we are going to burn two of our sphere points Indeed. to hold the initiative. Because you, right you need to outbid your opponent. So, hey ho, what a shame. We've got the initiative still. Yay! <laughs> the event phase for turn two is we unlock a new Lee Stormrider card, which is called Phantom Sight. Phantom so, Lighter. Phantom Sight, ensconced in the void, the Stormrider feels a phantasmal aura filling across his gaze, offering him understanding and helping him to pierce through his adversary's wiles. Oh. <laughs> More importantly, it's a passive effect. They gain plus one to their elemental defense enhancement. Currently, they were only on one, which is really annoying. Oh. Um, while he's in a void field, he gains plus one defense against elemental damage. That's very annoying. Oh, that's very annoying. Because the uh, the first of the wells is about to kick off, and the wells uh, have an aura, and the aura is the um, void field. Not a fan. So, no. Also, we will randomly reveal which one of these oblivion wells has switched on. All right. So, we have a little stack of three. Drum roll, please. Our survey says, well number two. So, well number two gets this little thing here. Lovely. At the beginning of each game round, transport the Lee Storm Rider unit with the lowest health to the furthest Oblivion well from any player unit. If Terrible. that Oblivion well is not empty, then place the moved unit adjacent to us instead. Just tell me. So that's, I mean, that is quite aggravating to be fair. Um, but you know, hey ho. Um, we're past the start of the turn, so we'll worry about that for next turn as they start flitting around the place. Um, the Oblivion wells have a radius three void field. Uh, so one, two, three out. And then one, two, three out and sort of diagonal. So you're making a diagonal square around them. Mm -hmm. uh, so currently he will be in a void field. And he will be in a void field. Annoying. Um, it is now that they've got phantom sight going, which gives them plus one to their defense and allows them to flip an extra card. That's, terrible. that's very terrible. Right. Well, there's not much we can do about that. That one is now active. It has 10 hit points. We could smash it up uh, or... I suggest we ignore it for the time being because they flit around the board. I'm less worried about that yeah. than I am actually getting them all dead before the third one activates, which yeah. does terrible things. Yeah. Terrible things. Terrible. Who are we starting with then? Would you like me to start? Uh, do, we go? do you have a, a cunning plan? I do actually have quite a cunning plan. I can get him yes. out of that void field. Oh. Because oh, you, you can. I can just. Get out of there, debuff it and send it on its way. Yeah. Okay. Well, first things first, though, I'm going to spend the sphere point to unlock a tier two ability. Okay. Because it's turn two. One of our tactical sphere point phase yes. things. Uh, I'm going to get menacing flame, which mm -hmm. is the same as a blessed flame, or uh, you can get a anyone with a candle fate can get a domain card removed defending. Mm -hmm. But menacing flame is never you're attacking. Oh, okay. So now, whether we're defending or attacking, we're going to get domain cards free because Excellent. I'm just the best. I, I like that. I do like that. Yeah. Just, I Isn't it great when we work together? It's teamwork, <laughs> folks. You don't see that often we've from done us. A lot, we've done a lot of cooperative games recently. We have, yeah. yeah. It's, it's been brilliant. We're, we're going to have to change that soon. <laughs> right. Right. Yes. 
So first off, Candle of Flame. Range of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six away. Smashing. So he is going to get Candle of Flame. Excellent. Um, as far flame. as line of sight works for people, in case you're wondering, uh, unless specifically told in the scenario, um, units do not block line of sight to other units. And we don't have any terrain, the, the boiler oblivion wells, which don't block line of sight. So so he's fair game, fluttering around in the air like a get as he is. Indeedy, indeedy. Right. So he takes a debuff of... Indeed. He's yep. got three turns left on that. Okay. So Candle of Fate, he's now got the Candle of Fate debuff. Anytime during my activation, mm -hmm. in activation, mm -hmm. uh, I may choose a unit with Candle of Fate within seven spaces. Mm -hmm. That's been X AP to force the unit to move X spaces. Oh. So I'm going to spend one AP yes. to have him move there. Flutter out of the void so he's no longer getting his little bonus. Exactly. I like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven away. Would you like me to also move him out of his little place? Look at you. How much XP or how many activation points do you have? Three left. Oh my God. I can cast it. And yes. Move him one. Yep. Don't we do that? Yes. All right. Sweet. Please. <laughs> so, Thank you. If you don't mind. So he is also going to get Candle of Fate. Yep. And I'm going to spend my final AP to shift him over a bit. Do you want to give him a little Candle of Fate for me? I will. Uh, that's a three buffy on as three well. Buffies, yep. So there we go. Now they're both out of their little uh, void. Please. Oh, that's that's good. They felt safe, and now they no longer can't feel safe because I am the worst. It's, well, worst, I am the boogeyman. Worst or best. <laughs> it all depends whether or not giant, creepy, candle-headed, eyeless monsters are boogeymen or friends. And in this case, friends. <laughs> this case, friends. Friends. <laughs> okay. But that is uh, that's me. That's you. You're yeah. done. You don't want to... Oh. Spend a sphere point to buy a card, or I need to get two oh, domain cards anyway. You get them because you've been casting fire spells. Yeah, yeah. okay. You're it's not allowed fire. to spend the sphere points to buy cards. I need to spend <laughs> our sphere points to buy cards, Mister. You're up to seven already. Yeah. Eight? No, you're eight. up to eight. Yeah. You're almost capped the hand. I'm okay, capped, yeah. right. <laughs> okay, so their turn, and they will activate. They always activate one, two, three, which is why you number them. So this. Delightful fellow will go first. Uh, this turn they have three action points because they have to uh, maintain their flying uh, overarching the sky. Uh, so that's okay because they still can do many terrible things. Uh, right off the bat, they will go for hurled lightning. They can only do that once, and mm -hmm. I'm about to get a hurled lightning in the face, but you know. It happens. It happens everyone. It happens to the best of us. So if the Luru price one activation, it will do this thing, and we'll chuck a lightning at my head. Uh, I would like to flip one for free, please. For free, please? Yes. Yes, please. There There's a one. Okay. Uh, and then it will flip again. For two. And... Any more for any more, Jerry? I could completely block it. Or you could take the one damage and save it. Or I can take the one damage and save that for tax, yeah. and I think that's probably <laughs> what I'm going to do. That's a good choice. So one damage is is for nothing. Has two left though, and um, yeah, if an enemy unit occupies an adjacent space, which we currently do now since the movings, mm -hmm. uh, you will perform one move action. Directly away from all enemy units, so it's actually going to bounce to there. Good, uh, still out of range. And I presumably it should go. It can go up to three, so it will go up to three. Yeah, because anything less would be madness. Trying to keep me at distance and shoot me, and then it will perform charge surges action. Uh, it cannot, for it costs two AP. Uh -huh. So we'll skip on to the next. If there are no enemy units with Seed of Lightning debuff within the action range, perform that action. So Seed of Life Lightning is AP1, so it can do this, and six range, and it's well within six. Mm -hmm. I will gain the Seed of Lightning debuff with a duration of four. Okay. Can't say I'm entirely at home to that. No. But it is what it is. One, two, three, four of those. And the implanted seeds 
charges until at last the host's pain arcs through the air to its comrades. After an enemy unit with the Seed of Lightning takes wounds from a fully resolved attack, you may choose a different enemy entity up to six away from the current one to deal one lightning damage. Oh. This is not an attack and cannot trigger the debuff. Oh, that's annoying. That's so we're going to have to kind of spread away from me a bit. Stay away from me. Yeah. Go. Go. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, that, is, that is all it can do, though. So that means it turns over and it will be our turn. And I, I feel like somebody's about to get chomped on. So I will spend a sphere point, please. A sphere point. To unlock my tier two ability, Resonant Puncture. Um, when I perform the Turbulent Blow attack, I can ignore targets to defense. Ooh. It's only got a capacity of once, so once per turn, oh, right. so I can't spam it. Big damage, though, big damage. Big damage, big whammy, big whammy. Big whammies. Uh, so, I will, I'm going to have to pay two anyway, either to move or to leap to get the combat. So I'll keep my leap, because you never know, I might need my leap later. I'll just do my jump to there. And then I will use my Turbulent Blue. Good. I thought so. Maybe he deserved it. I 100% think he deserves it. <laughs> um, stop hurling lightning at my head. Stop, stop planting the seeds of your debuff inside me. I can use your candle to flip a card yes. for free. Menacing Flame. Would I, would like love, to flip I would love to flip a card for free. Two damage. Oh, that's, oh. A, that's a good start. That's beautiful. Worth it. Especially because I'll be ignoring two of the target's defense. Um, Phantom Sight means I can only flip one of these because it's no longer in its little voidy field. So it's going to have a defense of one. So I'm currently on five, so four. No, I'm ignoring that defense yeah. altogether. Five. five. Oh, I feel like I should uh, do more damage. Do more damage. I agree. I'm going to discard Ancient Oculus oh. to copy the last domain card played during the struggle. Oh, 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 which is the two damage. Yep. Oh. So I'll be seven damage. Oh. Uh, and I could spend one more. Do I want to spend one more? It's a really good card to not spend one more on to actually use its ability. Keep so it. if it's good ability, then... It allows me to ignore two damage again. Oh, yeah. And since I'm already using Resonant Picture in this attack, I can't use it if I do it again. Yeah, keep that. Keep so I'll just do the flat seven damage to it. That's all. I just have to live with that. <laughs> I think that's definitely... He might not live with it, but yeah, well, we will. <laughs> he will for a little while. That brings him down to 12. Ooh. So almost almost half, half points, which is good. Uh, and gains me another Cacophony token. Um, so... That's two out of my four for my cacophony pulse. Good stuff. Which I'll, you will see me scurrying across the board, bounding like Pepe Le Pew <laughs> to try and get in a position where I can get between a couple of them and bust a move. Bust a rhymes. Bust a rhymes. Bust a blood vessel. Right. <laughs> uh, I am done for activation points. Lovely. Good, good attack, though. Did I, Worth it. Did I spend a sphere pull to buy a card this turn? No, I you, didn't. You had two cards. I'd like to spend with. one because another one. Oh I may as well. I'm not gonna have any bloody left. Well, it's always handy to have them. My Be God, better to have them and not need them. Um, Lee Stormrider two then for yourself. Yeah, indeed. So there is someone right next to him. Yep. Yeah. Um, it will just go straight into hurling lightning at your head. For or at many, my head, rather. How many EP? It, it will only cost the one. Oh, that's awful. Isn't it though? Right. So a hurled lightning at my forehead for two damage. I'd like to flip a card for free, please. Oh, no, you can you only do that once per turn? No, you no, can do it twice. Turn, twice because twice twice you've got capacity uh, it to. It is nothing, however. Oh. Which isn't ideal. That's not ideal. No. That's a shame. <laughs> it's a really good card when there are other things being played. Yeah. But that's okay. I can still... You can live with it. I can still play another one out of my hand anyway. Yeah. Um... I can play another attack. Game of, oh, three. Okay. Oh, oh dear. Not ideal. 
no, I will go with a one to take um, three damage. Yeah. I just have to live with the three. Yeah. Not really much you can do there, can you? No. Um, could be worse, could be sad. Okay, well, that is very true. So down to 22 health. And next up, it will back away for the low, low price of one action point yep. directly away one, from enemies. Two, three. Yep. You're basically playing adjacent to yourself over here. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like playing against somebody in chess when you don't know how to play chess. You just copy their moves. Yeah, that's all I do. Yep. <laughs> um, you're down to one action point for that Storm uh, Rider. move. Uh, down to one action point. Yeah. So it can't do a charge surge. Good. It will, however, do a Seed of Lightning debuff. You love no, I don't. Seed. I don't love the Lightning Seed debuff at all in any way, shape, or form. Why not? Uh, because... No, I've lit I'm literally stuck between a rock and a hard place now. I have so many debuffs already. If, if I do your guys take damage, I'm going to get zapped. Oh, you're going to get zapped? <laughs> yeah. Probably a good idea for you to move away. Yeah, I've already gone this turn, though. Oh, you've already gone, so yeah. I have to move away. Yeah. Right. <laughs> The good news is it's well, my what turn. What you're saying is it's your fault. No, it's not my fault. That's why I'm here. I don't know where you're hearing this from. <laughs> but I don't, I mean, isn't it? It is my turn, though. It is. With my second Savage. Uh, I'm, I could do a six jump. It's going to cost you two anyway to get to him. But if I do the six rather than just running towards it. Mm-hmm. I can actually go tight to the board edge and that will give a big buffer zone between you and me for when the lightning arcs. Yes, it will, but whenever it comes to his turn next turn, he's going to back up back into that field. Uh, I, mm, okay, I see what you're saying. Is what I'm thinking. One, two, three. The lightning's only what, one damage? That's true. One, two, I'm three. I'm a tank. I've got 33 Four, health. five. That is very true. So I don't, I don't care so much about that, really. Okay. Well, in that case, I will spend my... I can always come back against this guy. You could, yeah. You could. Because he's he's too far away, and he's going to activate next. Because he's the last. Yeah, he hasn't gone yet. Defend me, my puppy. Please. I want to defend you. I keep getting shot with lightning. You are a pit bull named princess. Shut up. <laughs> um, if I go for him... When it comes to lightning seed time, which it will, mm -hmm. I've already got the debuff, so it will kick it off instead. Yes. So that by attack by going close and attacking him this turn, you will get arced. That's whereas it, whereas if I back up and attack the other one, it will put the lightning buff on you instead and spread the love. I'm not sure which is better. Oh, do, I, do I get the debuff as well? Oh yeah. But oh. if it if it, nobody has it in range. Uh -huh. It gives it to them. It will do oh, it. Oh, okay. Right. So. So that could start stacking up quite badly. I don't know if it, I mean, it caps anyway. Um, yeah. It's got it's got a duration of three that it caps at, so we'll all have it for three turns. Okay. It's not the word. Whatever you want, Jerry. Uh, right. Okay. In that case, I'm going to go for two. He, he's already been attacked. Has he? Uh, yes. Yeah. May, 21 health. may as well try and put some of them down. Yeah. Uh, Leave so, number three to me. So I will. I'll take care of it. I will jump to there. I've got a lighter and a lynx cam. <laughs> uh, with my wild leap. Costing me two. And then it will be turbulent blue time. Uh, I would like to flip a card for free. I'm sure you would. Whoop. Zero. <laughs> oh, my God. We're running out of cards because they're all here. They're, yeah, they're all in your hand. <laughs> they're all in my hand. It will defend with a wild one. Right. I'm going to discard Shattering Sound to ignore the target's two defense. Okay, good. So in actual fact, I'm just going to do a straight three into it. Good. Um, and if it takes at least three wounds, the active unit gains a cacophony token. So three damage on it. And I'll start my cacophonies on my other unit. Don't do it. Caca, caca. Oh, that's what I want there. Buff token. There we go. Down to 18 health. I like it being down to 18 health. It's good. We're, we are a really good uh, trio here. Yeah. You do the damage and I just buff you. Yeah. 
to give you the domain cards you don't get. <laughs> Stop eating all the domain cards. <laughs> uh, right. We have one more to activate then. Yeah. Number three. Number trace. Just that buff token so I can tell who's got what. So already has his delightful arcing on him. Yep. So it'll just go straight to hurl a bit of lightning at your head. Not very nice. Yeah, he's not a nice person. Good. And he is also out of void range from the well. Yes. So that's great. That is great. So he's not going to have to move, though, which is bad news, Bears. Yes, it is. But could be worse. Could oh, be. oh, it'll get worse in the moment. <laughs> so the first thing he's going to do is a one on you. Okay, okay. okay. Um. Hmm. Oh. Oh, I've got so many cards I could choose from. Yes. Oh. I, I will warn you, Charged Surge is coming. Charged Surge is coming. Although it is just a buff at the moment, or rather a debuff, until such times that it hits turn four and then starts unleashing that. We want them to be dead before that happens. That's fine. We can deal with that when it comes to it. Um, when you get one wild card, I'll block it with a, a one there. Okay. Second flip. Puts him up to four. Ooh. Ooh. Ay, ay, ay. And you can only put one card own. down yeah. for your elementals. So three points of damage then? Three points of damage. That's fine. I've still got 30 hit points left. I can't <laughs> believe that. Oh. That's outrageous. Oh no, only lightning. Is that all? Please. Okay. Um, so it will now charge up for two AP. So it's going to use its remaining two. Right. But the effect is it gets the charge token. It can stack those three times. Okay. And then from turn four on, it can start doing long range lightning attacks that does double damage. Okay. <laughs> um, based on, well, sorry, not double damage. It does two damage times the charges on it. So it could be two times three damage. Hmm. And if the target is a unit and takes at least one wound, reduce the enemy's sphere pull by one as well. Ooh. So it can start sucking the goodness out of the room. That's not ideal. So, yeah. He dies first. He <laughs> does die first. He's, he's number three. And he's got a charge on him. Okay. All done, though. Into yeah. the event phase. Indeed. So we regen two of those and we draw two cards. They'll regen two sphere points as well. I might just leave it at 10. We always know they're going to be spending them to bring back to that. It's a quick shuffle for us. Yep. Oh, I've dropped them. We'll do the rest of the tidying up. And we should be back for turn three in just one moment. All right, we're back for turn three. Event phase. Mm -hmm. First off, we chose not to um, bid against the AI because we don't have enough sphere points to yeah. bid against the AI. Yeah. It can just have the initiative this turn. I don't care. <laughs> um, in turn three, the Lee Stormrider unlock Arc Flare. Sounds uh, fun. Which is delightful. Arc of Electricity Flares overloading the enemy's shield and piercing through to soft flesh beneath. There is no defense against the lightning now. Oh. Damage dealt by the Seed of Lightning debuff cannot be defended against. Oh, God. So, <laughs> Hurled Lightning we can defend. Yeah. Charged Surge we can defend. Uh, seed of Lightning, which is the one that stacks and does horrible things. Yes. Can't is be defended it? against that. Uh, range 6, target an enemy, gains the Lightning debuff. After an enemy with Seed of Lightning takes wounds from a fully resolved attack, you can choose a different... Oh, no. So... It's one that six range, you can hit someone else if someone Yeah, takes with damage. one. Okay. Okay, so it's not doing a lot of damage, it's just annoying. Yeah. It's going to plink away at us yeah. and start taking damage. Well, we'll live with that. Hopefully I shouldn't take any damage. Well, you, you can't avoid that now. <laughs> you, can't, you can't defend against it. Yeah. So. Oh, you mean just in general? Yeah. You didn't, yeah, yeah, I hear you. Okay. <laughs> um, so... It is their turn first, mm -hmm. and it will be number one. Uh, oh, first things first, because of the Oblivion Well, it's activated. The 
Lee Storm Rider with lowest health teleports to the farthest oblivion well from any player, uh, which in this case is going to be number one because they're currently on 12 health and annoyingly will flutter him away to there. All the way in the back. All the way in the back. All my hard work. What a terrible, terrible man. Done. Now I've got to chase after him all over again. Um, but it is his turn first. So he's going to he's going to have to move. <laughs> uh, overarching the sky. Don't worry about it. It's already active. Nobody is within five because no. five is the front of his friend. So he's going to have to move towards the nearest enemy unit. So how close does he have to be to catch you? One, two, three, four, five. So more or less in line with his friend. And one, two, three for the first. Mm -hmm. One, two, three for the second. One. Gets to there, runs out of puff, and <laughs> doesn't get a chance to shoot <laughs> into our faces. <laughs> ah, that's what he gets. That is Bloody what shit. he gets at the moment. So it's us then. Yeah. So that's interesting. So. Who do we want to go for? Mm, it's a very good point. One, two, three, four, five, six. I could leap to there. Mm -hmm. Walk forward to there would give me one attack against him. Yeah. Which, I mean, it would help chip away at us. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Or. Or he says. I could unlock one of my tier threes. Mm -hmm. So I could either get two wild leaps or my feral leap increases the wild leap to eight. Oh. In which case that's Ooh. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Straight I could just there. jump straight there. Yeah, that's nice. Um, so I think I'd like to spend a sphere point from our pool for that, please. You go for it. That's all right. Excellente. I suppose I'll accept it. Thank you. I do appreciate that. And then we'll just start with a majestic kitty cat leap going <laughs> straight to there. <laughs> that is the noise a ancient Chinese deity, celestial slash cyberpunk yes. creature will make. Santa that, Claus. That is, that is the cacophony. That is the cacophony. Cacophony Yay. coming home. Yay. Yay. Um, it is also a requirement whenever you use the leap ability to make that sound. Right. I think it is. I will definitely go for a turbulent blue. Yeah. Because yeah, I'm sure you will. Why would I not? I'm there. It's costing me two. Uh, I'd like to buy a card, please. You like as well, for another... another my God, man. Yeah. He's putting all of our bloody sphere points. What's this about? We would have got seven, right? Because you've got all the cards. <laughs> uh, oh, that's great. Gagong's Disciple. So that gives me the plus two. Well, I've got, I've well, got that as well. Plus X for the number of... You need to start discarding <laughs> some cards. Mitty boy. Um, okay, so that's handy for possibly what I'm about to do. Yes. And then we attack. We attack like an attacky thing with my turbulent blue. Attacky. Um, and I think I think I will start with a one. Remember, you also get a domain for me. Oh, because you can kind of flip. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, it's it's if you want it. If you don't want to use it, I, I'll, take a, I'll, take a, I'll take a I'll take I'll take a free flip. Take a free. Uh, yeah, because I'm go. I'm going to be using three and it's a wild. It's one that I don't have to discard from my hand then, so it, it keeps me one. Um, it will only get the one back. So currently, four v one, mm -hmm. so three points of damage through. However, what I'm going to do is Gong's disciple. Um, I'm going to play its ability to get plus two for the number of Savage on the board. Yes. 
and then I'm going to use Ancient Oculus, which copies the last domain card I played. <laughs> so that's two, four, five on there. Oh, jeepers. Five, eight. Eight damage against one, that's seven. Yeah. Except I could just use that to ignore two of the target's defense and just do the full eight. And I think I will yeah. do that because we really want people to go away really quite badly be nice. before somebody starts exploding our faces. Me. Yes. Me. <laughs> so he goes down to four. Not dead yet, but darn close. Yep. Right. Uh, number two for them then. Yeah. We'll activate. And he's currently pinned in the corner. He is a bit, yep. Which will harden him in every respect. So... Um, it will hurl lightning into my face. Good. There's not much I can do about that. Good. So that'll cost one uh, activation point. Mm -hmm. Bish, bash, bosh. Donzo. Would oh, like God. A, I would love a free flip. Free and I'd like it to be a yeah. two, please. Yeah, it's a one. It's not ideal, but it's you can't, can't have everything. Um, and it will flip again for another two. Oh, oh, Jerry. Right. In that case, since I have no other option, I'll play that mm -hmm. and then just take the three lightning in the face. Could be worse. Could be dead. Uh, if you say so. <laughs> three. Did I say three lightning in the face? Yeah, three, three lightning, lightning in the face. Down to 19. Um, however, I do have a lightning seed on me, don't I? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, so I'm going to burst six. And I'm exactly six. Three, three, four, five, six. You take one as well, Mr. You're Tank. You're literally the worst. I'm not the worst. I'm doing, the worst. I'm doing the Lord's own work here, and then they're exploding me. It's not my fault. I am your Lord. <laughs> not doing my work. I didn't, I didn't authorize this. Okay. Right. Us. Is it? No. No, he's still got two oh, AP. Oh, he's still left. got two AP left. Oh God. Boy, Joe, he's gonna have to and, he's gonna have to flutter away. You try and warm your way out of this one. <laughs> he's gonna flutter away um away from enemies. Not sure where he's gonna squit out there. Oh no, he won't he'll, if he's got two left, he'll do the Oh no he is. If an enemy occupies an adjacent space, perform one move action directed away from enemy units. So it's probably going to push him into that corner, actually. Yeah, because that would be the quickest. Yeah. One, two, and three. Okay. And then do the charge action, but you can't afford to. Mm -hmm. um, and I've already got the lightning seed on me, so you can't do that. Uh -huh. And you can't do charge. Uh, so it would just go back to hurled lightning, but hurled lightning is one a turn. So... That's all it's doing. Good. It specifically says if an enemy is adjacent and it's not, so it just it has one AP, but it can't theoretically use it for anything. Yeah. Right. Us. Onto the us then. Onto the us. Where does us want to go? Do you or me? Me to go. Well, there's no point attacking him yet because he's no. already gone. So I may as well deal a bit of damage to him. Okay. I feel. Yes. If you agree. Yeah. First off, mm -hmm. one sphere point to unlock Candlefield. Okay. Why do I take sinking or ascending? We want we want to deal damage. Yes. So I'm going to take ascending. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. Is, is that good, Squeezy? It's good, Squeezy. It is. I'll give you that. Like um, so I think first thing I'm going to do is actually just do that action. Yes. Or I could move one and put it right behind them. In case they run off? Yes, because... Furthest teleport. Oh no, that's going to be the furthest teleport, isn't it? Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, this is the furthest. Dang, dang that. Um. Well, the alternative is so. Presumably, that does something of interest then. Well, so right now, all it does is in a radius of six. Mm -hmm. Any ally unit within radius within radius attacks. The attacking damage is increased by one. Okay. So an extra damage for all of us in that radius. Oh. But next turn, I can get Ruptured Blaze 
which means I can look at that candle field and go bang, and it will explode. Right. Radius doing mad damage. Oh, okay. How mad damage? Whatever its current health is. So unless they attack it, six. Oh. And it's a radius, so it's everyone in the radius. Uh-huh. But that does mean you could, it's everyone in the radius. Stru- or, or all Which enemies. Enemy entity. So just enemies. There we go. So, I mean, we know if we don't kill Lou Health Boy. He's going to end up there. He's going to end up there. Can we kill Lou Health Boy? Do you have anything much, to attack? How much health is he on? Four. I do have a, a, an attack, but that's it. Because <laughs> the alternative is you either spam some attacks at him and kill him now, uh-huh. and then two jumps over. Yeah. Or you just go ahead and raise a candle here now, knowing he's going to jump to it, uh-huh. and then explode it in his face next turn. And then we just start punching somebody else for the rest of this turn. Well, let's see. So if I spawn the candle, it's three AP, so I've still got three left. I can still attack for one AP, possibly kill them because I have so many cards. I can buff the crap out of it. Well, what's your AE for the buff? What's the enhancement? Uh, two. So you can only spam in two of those cards. That's not too bad, but I do have some pretty good cards, is the thing. But is the attack... A capacity? Yes. Oh, right. so, so yes, you are only doing it once. Yes, I am only doing it I'd spawn the candle and then just sink his sink the head in him. Because if one of them, if if number two or number three jumps over instead, mm-hmm. and they take 10 damage in the face, yeah, that's just as good, if not better. Yeah, exactly. So, so what are we saying? Then spawn the candle here or over there? I'd say spawn over here because we know somebody's going to land on it. Right, so radius of six. Two, three, four, five, six. Yep. There. Good enough. Yep. Uh, which one is ascending? This one? Yeah. Shoot, this one. Go, little candle. Let me go. It's just a go, guess. candle, go. So that's three AP. Yes. That's a big one. It is, however, a fire action. Yeah. I have a maximum card hand. <laughs> you draw a card and then you choose one to discard. Oh. So, so, for example, if you've got one in your hand that does nothing because it's one of mine, I'd really like you to throw that into the discard pile, please. I'm sure you would. Uh, so I'm going to throw the one I just picked up back okay. into the discard I, pile. Uh, because it's, it's like that, is it? Uh, that was a fire action, though. Yep. And I can discard here. Discard when an ally unit performs a fire action, which I just did. Yep. And I can choose an ally unit, no range, anywhere, to restore 2 HP. Oh. so Can, uh, can I have that? Because I'm on 19. You take 2 HP. Wow. Go your right ahead. Go my bad self. Go right ahead, sunshine. Up to 21. Back right. into the proper done. So that's three, that's three AP. Yes. I'm going to move for one, so mm-hmm. I'm in range of my little... Your, your tiny little fire. pew. Yep. Right. Ah. Thank you very much. So one for move, another one for binding fire. Mm-hmm. Binding fire, two damage, A of two. Okay. Fight me. Play a card first then. Fight Mr. me, Man. sunshine. Um, so. Okay. Uh... The, the, this one, this one kind of confuses me. Yes. So we have to discard in order to get the struggle bonus. Yes. But it also says this card gains EV plus one and SV plus one. I'm played for a hero unit. Yeah. So if you're playing a a, a bigger game, yeah, and somebody else is in combat. And you've got your hand. You could play that to buff another oh, hero because yeah, okay. because it, it's not specifically the wiki and it's to, to buff a hero. Okay. But that's that's worth two by itself. It is, yeah. For, for you yourself and I using it. Uh you know what? Yeah, let's uh, let's put that down. Okay, let's go right for it. It only has the defensive one. So Good it's blocking one. We played for defense. We played for defense. Uh, Just look. Look for a big number. I'm going to play, Actually, you just I'm need to play to, one. I'm going to play some of your cards. Oh, that'd be lovely. Because Thank you. I can't use them. Yes. So an extra one damage on that. Which cancels its defense. It can't play anymore. Yep. So two fire damage right off the bat. Plus the two. So four. Four, extra card, four damage. So that's, that's just number one is dead. Yeah. First blood. First blood. I'll, I'll put them over there by you. Oh. You can bask in the knowledge you've killed. You've killed one of the three we need. My place. <laughs> right. Uh, so See, one that all more. worked. That yeah. worked beautifully. I it like that. It did work, yeah. Actually, did work well. Um, I've got one more AP. 
I can't do binding fire anymore. <laughs> um, you, you could move again. I could move. How, <laughs> how far away do you need to be from that to explode it? Do you need to be in range? Range six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you, yeah, you, so you need to move one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. That that is exactly how that one works. Perfect. Perfecto indeed. We are such geniuses. Go team, Tiger. Awesome. Uh, oh, that wait, just, hold on. Yes. Attack action. Fire. <laughs> oh, of course you get the draw card. Of course you get the draw card. Why would you not draw a card? It's been literally <laughs> seconds it's since been... you emptied the deck. Okay. <laughs> oh, brilliant. In some respects, I am glad I give you that because yeah. it helps us massively for yeah, this. But in other respects, I'd really like a card occasionally. <laughs> um, right. So number three still has to go. Yep. And is he, the worst? he is, as you say, the worst. Uh, already charged up. So somebody's getting hurled lightning in the face, and it would be me because I'm closer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love cannon fodder. I mean, um, loyal servants to me. That doesn't give me a defense bonus, does it? No. No, it's just an attack bonus. Yes. Okay. So forked lightning being hurled at my head for one. You will still get your one three to moon card, though. Yes. From me. Oh, and I will be taking it. You will be taking it. Yeah. yeah. Let's have a look. One defense. Uh, it's going to be starting with one attack. Uh, I don't have any other cards. Don't have any cards. So why not? Where have they all gone? Uh, oh, they've gone. <laughs> so it's going to do three damage. Okay. Um, yep, three damage in my face. Thankfully, okay, I'm, I'm relatively unscathed on yeah. on that side. Down to twenty three. However. You're going to get one undefensible lightning seed arced into your face. Uh, so that will teach you. 28. Uh, At least it doesn't chain. That's the only good thing. At least good. it does go bump, bump, bump. Yeah, that would be terrible. That really would be. Um, is, that, is that it done? So it's us then. Yes. My other cacophony yes. gets to go. Uh, go, right. my boy, go. May as well. Move me to Uno Dos. Yep. And then that's one. He is, however, within range of his little void. Yeah, which gives him one defense mm. right off the bat. Which sucks. Um, and he can spam two cards. And he's just the worst. Yeah. Man, there's not much we can do about that. So. I will, in that case, go with Turbulent Blue for two. Do you like to flip like me a, a card? A free attack? A free one for my candle goodness. One. Wow. That's great. Candles are great. I need more candles in my life. It'll flip a one, though, cancelling that. So currently... Well, maybe candles aren't so good. <laughs> And then I don't have any more guards. I could buy a card. Could buy a card. Uh, we we have the facilities, Jerry. Not not for this one. Uh, he'll flip again. So that will be two against four all in. No, three against four all in because it gets plus one defense for the void bubble it's in. Oh, yes. So yeah, so it'll take one. Uh, that's number two. That's yours. Yep. Uno damage. I mean, Down to 17. Could be worse. Could be worse. Could be zero. Uh, I will buy a card. <laughs> You're going to buy a card now, yeah. I'm going to buy a card now because I've, I've got, uh, got a good feeling. I got a feeling. Oh, well, that's not terrible news. Is it not? You're good. It's one of your cards. So I've got. So it, is one of my, it is one of my cards. Good. So, so that was Turbulent Blue used, so it means the only other thing I could do is a Savage Assault. However, it does ignore one of the target's defense. Oh, that's good. Which cancels out the Void Bubble it's in. True, yep, true that. You make a valid argument. I Over can't rest. flip another card this turn because you're going to do that once per creature. Yes. But I think it's still worth it. So well, it's it's once per struggle. 
Oh, what's for struggle? So you've done a new struggle. Oh, it's a new struggle. Oh, in that case, like, yeah, I can go again. I'll card. flip a free, please. Oh, oh, big two. Oh, big two. Big Candles two's great. Are the best. <laughs> Candles are great. It gets one. I'm going to discard Gugong's Disciple to get another two. Nice. Yep. For the purposes of two of me on the table. And it will flip one. So it has a defense of three. I have an attack of five and I ignore one of its defense. So it'll do three points of damage. Three points of damage? Three points of damage, right. Down there. to 14, Jerry. Oh, it seems hauntingly familiar. Isn't that what we did to the last one? I think so, yeah. <laughs> That's good news. That's us all done, though. Yeah. So, refresh phase, and then we'll be back for turn four. All right, we're back for turn four. Uh, first things first, Lee Stormriders unlock Thunderous Fury and Thundery Firmament. Oh. They sound thundery. Oh, that's all terrible. Um, and we need to randomly determine an Oblivion Well as well. Ooh. So let's. <laughs> as well as well. Let's randomly determine an Oblivion Well. All as well with end well. Survey says. Pick one. Oh, number one. Oh, number one. Controversial. So number one gets that. Well, good. Maybe it deserves it. Might well do. <laughs> it increases all the Lee Storm Riders maximum AP by one. I hate that. So, so they're up pattern. to four now. So they're going to be a bit more spammy. Terrible. That's really not the greatest news I've heard. That is absolutely awful. In fact, some would say I am distraught. And your day is ruined. My day is ruined. Okay, so Thunderous Fury and Thunderous Firmament. Thunderous Fury. The heavens churn overhead before loosing their Thunderous Fury on the enemies of the void. The limit of charged surges, charge action is increased to twice per Storm Rider, per activation. Oh. <laughs> we should be thankful they haven't had a chance yet. And Thundery Firmament. The Storm Rider ascends into the thundery sky, his eyes roving across the battlefield, splayed below. Targets acquired, dives towards the earth, lightning licking at his heels. Effect. While a Lee Storm Rider is in the over arc the sky state, the AP cost of the charged surge action is reduced by one. Oh, oh that is absolute oh, filth. Oh, that is terrible. That is 100% the worst filth I've ever heard in my life. Uh, it's especially noteworthy that we really should have paid attention to what they were going to do to us because we let them take the initiative off us. Um, yeah. <laughs> it seemed like a good idea at the time. <laughs> I don't know. In our defence, we don't know what we're doing. No. Um, right. Start of the turn. Lowest Storm Rider health wise, which is got to be number two because yes. number three has taken nothing. We'll flit to the furthest from any. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So yes, flip to there, which is good because we thought it would, which is why the candle was there. Yes. And if we'd miscalculated that, that would I'd be have been awful. very, very embarrassed. <laughs> so he goes to there and they take the first turn and he activates first. He does, yep. He does indeed. Okay. Well, overarching the sky is definitely active on him mm -hmm. because nobody's kicked it off him yet. Yep. Uh, hurling lightning with a range of five. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh -huh. Or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Technically, you're closer. Oh, that's a first. Unless one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. No, definitely you're first. You're Damn. closest. <laughs> um, however, it's going to move first. He will have to move first. So you were nine away. Nine away, yep. One, two, three. Should still have you at like six, and it does. So 
one. Oh, he only needs to move one, doesn't he? Five, five range, one, two, yeah. three, four, five. So that's two AP to do that. Two movements, yeah. And then he will hurl lightning at your face. Why? Because he doesn't like you. He's the worry. He doesn't like you. Okay. Hurling lightning. Crossing one damage. Okay. He's the worst. One damage becomes two damage. Okay. I'm going to first off discard a card. Yep. Add struggle when played for defense, immediately draw one card from your domain deck. Okay. So I'm just going to get another card because I'm literally the best. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You know how it is, Jerry. Yep. Yeah, no, I 100% know how it is. Uh, okay. I'm going to go with that for defense. Oh, I've only got one ADE though, haven't I? Yeah, so you can only play one. Well, I may as well just play the two then. I mean, there's you can play other ones for their ability, They're, but yeah. not, the, not the points. If mm. you know what I mean. Well, we'll see what his next card is, because I do have one I can discard to uh, buff me up a bit. It's up to three. How much damage is it? Three. Three right. less whatever your defense is. So currently one. One point of damage. One point of damage. I don't care about one point of damage. I could save it, but it's one point of damage. Yeah, just going to take it. And I don't currently have the lightning debuff that you do. Oh, you save. don't? You don't have lightning yeah. side? so it's not going to deal damage to you. Oh, well, that's all right then. Yeah, you can just take take that in the face. Okay. <laughs> I, was, I was about to take a, a jab of lightning there. I'm glad I didn't. No, here we go. Um... That was well, that's on your side. So that was two moves and a lightning. Yes. So he has one left, which is charged surge. No. Oh. Because it only costs oh. it only costs one now. Oh no. Um, and so he gains a charge surge token, putting him up to two. He is the worst. He dies. Well, he will die. <laughs> that's precisely what he's going to do. Uh, yeah. When he hits three, he's going to unleash that attack. Good for him. And that's not going to be fun for anyone involved. Well, hopefully we'll kill him before he does that. Yes. Right. That's him done, though. Good. One of ours. Who would you like it? me to go? I would love you to go. I want to, to blow see, him. I want to see what this does. I'll blow him. You blow him. Uh, I'm going to spend one of our extra special good points. Yes. Sphere point go. That's the one. Until you get ruptured blaze. Mm-hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six away. Yep. So I am in range. I'm going to make that candle go pop. And the candle explodes all over him, covering him in hot waxy wax. That's like the, the one. That is the one. Oh, he's like, oh, that's a fire action. He's taking a <laughs> card. Of course it is. What, what's that do now that it's dead? So what that does, destroy the targeted creation, which was the candle. Yep. And then each enemy entity within the targeted creation's radius, which was six. Mm-hmm. Uh, receives X fire damage. X equals the targeted creation's current health. That creation was still on six health. Oh. So six big fire damages. Six fire damage. It is within the voidy bubble. It is. So defense of one. It's awful. So five fiery damage. What's what's that bring it down to? That brings it down to nine. Oh, that seems much more doable, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Yeah. We like that. Don't think we're going to like the next bit. Probably not. <laughs> so that was two of my finest APs. Yep. Um, would you like Candle of Fate back? I would love Candle of Fate back. On your back. lad there? Yep, please. You can have Don't Candle mind. of Fate back for two AP. So that's three more turns of that. Uh, who, who wants it? Who wants it? I could, no, I could give I could give him Candle of Fate. Yeah. Because next turn I can unlock a Candle of Fate attack. Which means anyone who has Candle of Fate, mm. who's an enemy, I can set on fire. Yep. Or I could straight up attack him this turn for one AP. I think it's probably better off giving Candle of Fate. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So he will also get Candle of Fate, Mr. Number Three. Dokey. And duration of three. Bump, bump, bump. Also means you can shunt them around if you want to. Exactly, yeah. Just because they don't like them. That's don't you like done space. for done three right. piece. Yeah. And you've unlocked and there's no point in you buying a card with my sphere points. No. So <laughs> don't do that. I don't need any more cards. No, you don't need any more cards. You really don't. 
I do. I've got oh, I've got two from this turn. Good. That's it. Good. Um, right. Lee Storm Rider number three. Mm-hmm. He was just the worst. He's on full health. Full health. Untouched. Terrible. Oh, um, the well was in range of that explosion, was it not? Yes. The whales can take damage. Whales can't take damage. It will it'll be down to five damage. Perfecto. I'll mark that. So we remember on the off chance that we kill that whale and they yeah. stop getting plus one AP. That wouldn't be the worst. Wouldn't be too bad, yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, there are choices for hurling the lightning, and unfortunately, my face looks the most conductive. I'm sure it does. So, with a mighty two away uh, or three away, he will just start the bidding with a lightning bolt into my face page. So, I've been candled now, though. You have been candled. I would like a free one, please. Would you? I would love a free yeah, one. I don't know, I think one. Uh, a big old one. One. Well, that matches the one that's chucking in on me, so that's a good start. Mm -hmm. um, it will go for its second. For two. Come on, Jerry, beat him up. Or do I just take the hit? You could just do that. Because Although you will deal one damage to me. I will deal one damage to you. Daryl, I've... You've done more. You've done more damage to me than the enemy has. Just, just listen, right? <laughs> listen. I'll take two damage. You'll take one damage. Yes. However, it means I've got cards to attack that and try and kill it. I like it. Rather than <laughs> rather than saving myself and leaving them running yes. about for another turn, I like chucking it. things at our head. Interesting. That's uh, <laughs> that's actually number one. So it's that one. Uh, down to twenty one. Interesting strategy. I like it. I liked it as well. I'll take a hit. God damn it! I didn't like so, that. So. Pings the old lightning seed. It will now. Well, there's nobody adjacent, so it's not moving. It will do a charged surge. Oh. Yeah. Yep. For the low, low price of one. Oh, dear. Goes on to him. And then the next one is from turn four. Perform sur charge surge again. Oh. So he'll put another one. It's up to two. He's terrible. Yes. Next turn, there will be lightning delight from him. There will be a reckoning. Um, seed of lightning debuff within range. You haven't got it yet, have you? No. Yeah, you're about to get seed of well, lightning. Why? So have that and put a three duration on it. <laughs> uh, and that's his last action. So he's he's coming on in for the big win next turn. I'm sure he is, yeah. In a big way. He's about to get the absolute beaten out of him. Good. <laughs> what's gonna it's the only way to deal with <laughs> Storm Riders. So, two or one. There's no point in activating two. Because, let's face it, too far away to do anything of goodness. Um, oh, I could unlock something, though. You can indeed, Jerry. You may spend all of the sphere points. Yes. That's really good, but only defense against physical damage and not taking any in this particular game against these particular foes. That allows me to pull cacophony tokens from a friend. Mm. This one is interesting. Is it damage, damage, and more damage? Adult waves. Immediately after the active unit performs a wild leap, you can target every other unit within radius three uh, to do an AoE effect. Ooh. Oh, it knocks everything away. Oh. I mean, it's interesting. It's possibly not the one for today, though. What I will do is spend one sphere point. Um, we need damage. Yeah. So I'll unlock cacophonous balance. There's a balance within the cacophony, a resonance that intones with pure, undiluted power. Tuning the frequency, the sabachi attains the balance. Weep, O oh enemies in despair. Uh, it reduces the blaring blast from requiring four charges to only requiring three. Ooh. And I'm currently on two with him. So if I can do another damage, I'll be at the 
three I need, yeah. which will then give me a gives me an AOE attack, but I'm looking at it from a point of view of an additional big attack. Yeah. Do you want to spend a sphere point on another card as well? Yes, please. Turn, yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? There we go. Down to four. Do that. Oh, three in the hand that can all be used to spend for things. Yeah. And one of which ignores defense. In fact, the one I've just bought ignores defense. That's great. So, Savik one will. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I just leap like a gazelle to there. Hello, chummy. Like a majestic gazelle. Like a majestic gazelle. Turn him around. There we go. Looks better. Looks like they're attacking each other. So that's wild charge for two. And then turbulent blue for two. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, turbulent blow for two. I'm just looking at it for this turn. I may as well use resonant puncture because nobody else is going to get to attack, which means I can ignore the target's two defense anyway and use that as an additional one point of damage potentially. So I'm on three to begin with. I can mm -hmm. flip a card for free because of my you candle can buff. Indeed. Two, oh, five. Oh. Jesus. What's it on at the moment? He's currently on nine health. On nine? Yes. And it's got one defense from that plus whatever it flips. Yes. So, so, so I need to do ten. Yes. No, I need to do nine because I'll ignore two. So I'll ignore that and I'll ignore part of a flip or maybe a full flip. Yeah, possibly. Because it only, well, I can only flip twice. So. One, okay. That's okay. all right. Uh, so three, four, five. I'll go six. Then it will flip a second time. Mm -hmm. So there's three against six. Okay. But that's that's all right. I'll then go. That for my third. So three against seven, and I'll ignore two of its defense. So seven against one, six points of damage. Six points of damage, three health left. Again, again a cacophony token. Yep. Unfortunately, I don't have the action points to use it this turn, but I've gained it. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. No, not at all. Because um, everything else is gone. Am I correct? Yes. So it's just my other it's number two left. Savage. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, Savage number two. Go. We know that's going to flip again, being yes. the lowest. Yes. At least going to go there. And I'll go to there. As long as you stay <laughs> far enough away from it. Yeah. Which well, also means as long as I don't get as long as I don't get closer to that than you are. Yeah. So I may as well just spend my action to... It move. also means that next turn, Two, if we, for example, get first, three, I could go, that's a nice double spawn you've got there. I've got a candle oh. there, and I can instantly blow it up because I've got six AP and it only costs three and two to spawn and explode. Oh, that's delightful. Isn't it? I thought so. They don't think so, but I thought so. So that's two actions to move to there anyway. And then... I could move to there. And at that point, one, two, three, four, five away. Still much further than this. But puts me in a position where I can get into that. Or could I even push forward another one? Push forward another one with an action point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, you're well away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's fine. That still means that is the it's order the of the day. Point. Yeah, good stuff. All right. I think that's everything we want to do for this turn. Then, mm -hmm. so we'll refresh. I'll be back for the next turn in just one moment. Okay, we're back for round five. Yeah. 
first things first, event. Unlock Lee Stormrider's Fort Burst. That was a zone, right? No, I'm locking cards faster than we are. I know. <laughs> the electric arc divides into two separate streams, energy jumping like a wild, untamable force from one target to another. Whenever Seed of Lightning is triggered, its effect may be triggered twice each time. Oh. Choose the same or different entity to receive the damage. You know, so. how, you know how you said two turns ago or last turn? Yep. That it does, good thing it doesn't chain. Yep. Well, that's still not chaining. It, all it's doing is hitting you twice. It's different. It's very different. <laughs> um, we've decided they can keep their initiative. We don't yeah. care about their initiative. Yeah, boo sucks to you them. Uh, and then the next thing will be the floaties. Now, we've calculated the floaties, so we know he is going to floaty to there. Yes. So you can flutter away, chimmy oh. chum. Um, and then it will be his turn to activate. Oh will, yeah. Well, indeed. So right off the bat... Overarching the sky is activated, mm -hmm. so that's fine. Um, if nobody's within hurled lightning range, perform move actions to the nearest enemy until that one is enraged or until it spends all its movement. So, one AP on a move out. Yep. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah, the closest. <laughs> so, uh, it will go three to there for your first movement. Mm -hmm. Two, three, four, five. Ooh. And one away. One away, but it's going to have to spend another AP. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. To get to there, ah. the shootings of you hit me, hit me, hit you. It will hit you. Uh, How could you do that? Hurling all the lightning, so that will cost its third, third AP down to one, and it will start the bidding with one. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna play one of those. Yep. Because I need to get rid of cards. For its second, it will do another one. So three points total. Three points total. That's fine. I'll take it. Yeah, I know you'll take it. The, so, only, pro the only problem is, are you lightning buffed? Are you lightning seed? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, of course you are. <laughs> yeah. Why would you not be? So, I mean, theoretically, realistically, um, Theoretically, yeah, we're both we're both there, yeah. and it can do it twice. I see no reason why it wouldn't go ping ping. Yeah. It can't do enough damage to really. Oh, they're both on twenty one actually. Um, yeah, so I'll just knock both of them down to twenty. So, first lightning seed will arc out left. The second arc out right. Yep. Everybody gets hit by lightning because of you. Has it any AP left? Uh, yes, it has one. No, I hate you. I wish it did. Perform the charged surge oh. action. Oh no! So it's it's up to its three. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but it's out, it's out of AP. So uh, there we go. Okay, that's fine. Can I have one of those little red ones? You can have a little red Thank one. Much. So next turn, somebody's getting charged arc and face. He's going to die before next turn. Is what he's going to do. I'd like the sound of that. Yeah. I'd love you to do too. that, please. Okay. So us then. Us me. Sure. Me go. Fungi from Yorgoth, you go yeah. for it. Yeah, okay. Right. Bring in the Pian Wiccan. Bring it in for the big win. Right. Light him up, you candle headed beauty. Candlefield. One, two, three, four, five, six. I yes. Pop it right in behind them there. Okay. Hello. <laughs> so that's three of my APs gone. Mm. But I'm then immediately going to, oh, I don't know, turn it into a bomb. Sure. That's what I'm going to do for two more AP. And it's immediately just going to go bang six damage on I, both of them. I like the idea of it immediately going six exactly. damage into both I of them. I thought so as well. Oh, I forgot to get a card. Oh, because you've cast a fire. <laughs> of course. Of course you have. Why I would you I not? Should get, actually, I should get two cards. So let's uh, swap that one. <laughs> oh my god. 
Why did you give me this buff, Jerry? <laughs> it seemed like it seemed like the best one for yeah. a cooperative game. Uh-huh. Uh, I didn't realize that you would be like some sort of sponge soaking yes. all the main cards <laughs> out of my hand. Sorry, um, but you know it is what it is. Can't do much about it. So candle go boom. Candle go boom. And what's the effect of candle going boom? Six damage and a radius of six to all enemies. That's good. So that's all of them. Well, he will be within the defensive aura. Yep. Buffy Spear. He's not, because it's only out to three. Good. And he's four away. Good. So number three will take six. Six big ones, yeah. Harsh. Down to 17. His little friend will take five. Uh, which puts him dead. Oh, well, dead's, dead's the best way to go. <laughs> we just, like I'll dead. Take you. There we go. Two kills. And then, and best. presumably, five onto that five oblivion on that. well. And take my candle away. No mm. buffs from it, but um, well, it did its job. It did its job beautifully. What's the plan for the rest then? I've got one more AP. I have a one AP attack. Yeah. Range of four. One, two, three, four. Mm-hmm. Let's go for it. Two fire damage. Okie dokie. Would you not bed? Do you want to throw in a card? Yes, I will indeed. Did you start the bidding on that one? I'm going to go for big old two. And it will, because it's too far away to get the bonus flips, it will block one. Mm-hmm. I can only play one. But I can discard. I do have one that I can discard. Oh, well, if you want to, it can only play one as well. Oh. So at the moment, its defense is one against your... That's all right. I'll discard this one. Yep. And I may choose... a. May choose and discard a card from the enemy domain pool. Oh, so, so, you so that one just then. get rid of that one, yeah. <laughs> so it's going to take four, two fire damage, two of those. Oh, sorry, the A is actually two on this. So oh, so you could play cards. another card. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, on second thoughts, then, Jerry. On second bloody thought. Um, let's go with one of yours so I can get rid of it. So, so three, four, five. Five damage. Five damage onto him. Burn, baby, burn. Down to 12. That smell of singed feathers in the air smells like victory. <laughs> Possibly. It's on the horizon, Jerry. It's on the horizon. Okay. But that is me. Which means it will be the final Storm Rider. Yes. Who is currently on two charges. Good. Yeah. Unfortunately, he's also in range and doesn't have to move around to do stuff. Bad. Less good, yeah. Um, right, he does have candle debuff on him, though. Is there? I'm just throwing that out there in case there's anything you can do whenever these no. lightnings start coming into your face. No, unfortunately not. No. All I can do is push him around when it's my turn. And oh, I have AP. Okay. It is not my turn, I do not have AP. In that case, eat hot lightning being hurled into your face. That's fine. I can tank it. Start with one. One of those. And then I'll have to reshuffle the deck. That's all right. You bloody do that. I will. Uh, I will respond in kind with a one. And two. So three lightning damage. The, these two cards of yours that I have, can I just discard these? I would love you to. Can I just get rid of them now? Yeah. Please do. Because they have no defensive value or attack value. And yet you've <laughs> held on to them for so long. Yeah. Because I'm like that. <laughs> How much damage are we taking then? Uh, currently two. Two damage. Well, I can't play any more cards. My defense is only one. Yeah. So, uh, and then and then both of my friends will both take one damage. It's terrible. Because of the lightning seedings. You would do something. You would. <laughs> this is all your fault. You're lucky I'm not rolling for that, which otherwise. Oh, they all, we'd all be dead. We'd all be dead a long time ago if that was the case. Uh, so that was the first. The second will be Charge Surge. Charge Surge? Yeah, which okay. will cap it at three. Not good. Nope. Not good. Uh, Seed of Lightning debuff. Which I have. Uh, no enemy unit within Seed of Lightning actions range. Uh, one of your guys does one of my guys doesn't so he will do that good hopefully he doesn't get off the big screw attack Uh, I don't think that's how that works anymore I I think I think Cacophony yeah number two will just take the 
the lightning seed for one. Oh, no. And then... Kill him. Um, hurled lightning again, except we've already used it this turn, so that's good. So final one is if he has at least two charge tokens, which he does, perform charge surge attack on the nearest enemy. Oh, that's a bad one, though, isn't it? It's not great. And I'm the nearest enemy, so that's really bad. <laughs> range three plus charges, so range six. No offense so far, Jared. Cost say. all the active units accrued charge tokens. So we can't get it off this turn. What? The cost for the attack action. So it only costs one to power it up, but the cost to attack with it costs three because it's Ooh. all of us. Because it could, you could start st spamming it from two if you got there. And then the damage is that. So we're actually... I've been saved by the gods. I've been saved by the fact that it, it's up until now it hasn't been able to get it off. Um, can't hurl. But next turn it can hurl and then go straight to charge lightning straight in the face yeah. with all three AP doing a tremendous amount of damage. Yeah. Plus, I think the final Oblivion Well activates as well. No. Yeah. <laughs> oh. well, he's on 12 hit points. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, you've got I've both, got your guys both to of my up. guys to go. So we'll hopefully so, do a bit of damage and I can blow him up. Yes. Right. So with that in mind... Do you want to buy a card? I would love to buy a card, please. Thank you. You should probably do that. Uh, spend me a, a sphere point. Uh -oh. Yes, sir. Have a Dominion card. Ooh, plus two. That's good. Lovely job, Mr. Monzo. Right, I will leap. Probably count that rather than just move it. <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. So I can just leap. From there to there. Perfecto. So that's great news for all involved. Hello. That was my wild leap. Did you like it? He hated it. Oh dear, that is a terrible, terrible shame. <laughs> uh, then I will use Turbulent Blue for my remaining two AP to do my damage three. Mm -hmm. I'm candled up. You are candled up. So I, can, like a free card? I would love a free card. There you go, extra one damage. It will defend with one, which is all it can do. And then... And then I say, I'm gonna play Heroic Force for two. And Gong's dis Disciples for another two. One for each of my Sabachi Cacophonies. Yes. So two, four, five, up to eight. And I'll also use Resonant, Resonant Puncture, my ability to ignore its defense. Good. So Good. that's eight damage flat Ooh. on it. Oh, oh. Right off the bat, carving to bits. Lovely. Bingo Jumping bongo. Jerry. Do you like that? That's what we love from you. It, it did take all of my actions. Yes. But it looks spectacular. Damn right. That's all that matters. And that is, as you say, all that matters. As long as you look fabulous. I look majestic. <laughs> right. Then, I would like to... I'm actually going to buy this upgrade. Yeah. Sorry. Because now, because my other Sabachi is about to activate. Yeah. Uh, so you know. he will activate... And it allows me to use Wild Leap twice per turn. So either once on each or, uh, oh. or all, <laughs> all at once. Would you look at that? And I will use it to go uh, one, two. Yeah, because otherwise it would cost me three movement to get to there. Yeah. I'll just do that. Worth it. Totally worth it. Let's go in there. Hello, my son. How are you? <laughs> I'm absolutely glorious. I couldn't even fit into that combat if I wanted to. No, no. It's we'd, so squished. We'd have to move. Uh, I imagine it will be, though. Uh, and I will go for Turbulent Blue again. 
Mm -hmm. Your favorite? Uh, my absolute favorite. Um, no, I am not buffed by the candle of goodness on that one, so I don't get a free card. Oh no! Yeah, it's terrible, really. The candles. The candles. But he is only on four health, so I just need to get through. So, I will start with that. Mm -hmm. So that's me on four. Mm -hmm. It will play that for one. Okay. And then, okay. Uh, I, either way, I can either play that for the one damage which will put four through, or can play it for the ability to ignore two of its defense. Yeah. I'll probably do that. Sure. Just doing flat four and killing it. Your the, yes, sir. Thank you very much. I feel like I had to do something since you had exploded <laughs> the last two all over the place. Um, the Storm Riders are dead. The Wells are ours. Wick yep. and Gong. Who said this here? Gagong. 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 Who's an amazing looking model. Um, yeah, we are the winds. So there you have it. It's an interesting little game. Yep. This is obviously a very light introduction to it being the cooperative. There's an epic mode cooperative as well, um, which goes up a notch. And then there's also other, um, other game components and like the Dominion Shard Wheel that can be added mm -hmm. in that we didn't play with. But again, you can go back, see my unboxing as to how that goes. Uh, but how did you find being the Wikian? It's, it's an interesting one because you don't often play a support character, do no, you? No, I don't. I actually really enjoyed it. Yeah. I like going candle, candle, explosion, bang, cool. Whiz pop. Look at the feathers <laughs> as they flew around me. I played a support character, but I was definitely doing a lot of harm. Well, yeah. A yeah. harmacist, if a, you will. A, harm, a harmacist yeah. is the best way. <laughs> it's it's interesting. The combinations of what you can unlock and when you can unlock them change a lot as well. Mm -hmm. yep. There were some abilities which there's no point in me paying to unlock them in this particular game yeah. because it would only have helped me if uh, I was doing or receiving physical damage and these lightning seeds here uh, were just exploding everywhere. So yeah. pointless. Um, but yeah, so there, there's tactics that come into the game with that where you're thinking, well, if I unlock this now, then I can use that next turn to do something ex explosive or maybe maybe if you're facing a lot of things, you go, well, I'm going to go a bit more AOE heavy. Yeah because you've got these sort of branching talent trees that allow you to explore it in that regard. Instead of blowing up my candles, I could have very easily castled us up. If we were uh, in a corner, I could have given us defense and attack bonuses yeah. and brought the upgrades. Yeah. So, so we could have really castled up easy with yeah. my candles instead of going explosions. <laughs> yeah. But explosions uh, are fun. Explosions are always fun. And when you're, if you're playing the PvP version where you're building... Um, actual teams to go against each other, then things like that come more to the, the fore as well, yeah. where you're going right well. I'm a support character. I'm going to stay behind people and I'm going to put the candles around me. So if enemies want to come in and attack, they can. But at the same but time, they have buff. to be very aware. If you don't buff, you'll explode in their yeah. faces <laughs> and cover them in hot wax. So there we have it. Celestial's The Hidden Void from Dimension Games. Uh, let us know what you think below, folks. And uh, the links will be down there for their uh, Kickstarter as well, so you can check that out. Until next time, bye-bye. We hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.